Let me tell you something about doing commercial car shoots. It's always really cold and it always starts really early in the morning. All right, you're now on set for the Jaguar XC360 shoot. This is what it's like, early mornings, very cold. Everyone say hello. Hi. There's a crew. This morning, I'm taking you guys behind the scenes to show you just what is involved in making what is seemingly quite a simple shoot, but is far from it. Uh, so right now, we're setting up lighting, sound, and this is our incredible 360 <laughs> camera rig. Uh, who's the guy in charge for stitching all of that in place? The stitching is right. back in the studio. Stitching's back in the studio. Tom. Yeah, <laughs> and that's that's the really tough bit, is making it's tough it all match up. Yeah. So we've got six, is it six, six cameras? cameras? One so of them with a modified lens. Yeah, I, I saw that. So last time we shot, we didn't have this lens, right? It yeah. was the normal the, Well, this GoPro. lens has got a much wider field of view, which means it can capture any kind of gestures that you do it's yeah. a bit more flexible as well in terms of the light it lets in making yeah. it even cool. around the place because last time every time i extended my hand it was going through a stitch line exactly. so every now and again my hand would look like that <laughs> <laughs> but look in the back here we've got sound we have lighting here and uh yeah a lot goes into it and i think ultimately this uh final production will probably only be about two and a half minutes long three minutes yeah if that yep, exactly. yeah All right, so where are we? Well, we've traveled quite far north, well, quite far north from London anyway, up to the beautiful Peak District, uh, near to a place called Buxton, where there are many tractors and many hillsides, but it is gorgeous. Anyway, let me show you around set to show you what goes into making a three minute video for a big brand like Jaguar. Ambulance on site. Now, bearing in mind, this is coming from someone who does everything with maximum three cameras this is cool this bus unassuming bus this is the, the like sort of uh set bus where everyone has their food everyone goes on there it's like hair and makeup and that sort of stuff takes place and it's just like a warm base for everyone to uh, sit because out here in buxton is very cold uh catering now it might seem standard procedure but take it from me not every shoot has catering like this so um just enlighten us a bit more about what is going on today so is this a typical size is this smaller larger it's a typical size yeah you know it's um even though we're driving i guess on a relatively short piece of road yes and we're shooting 360 there's yeah. obviously all the sort of te technical implications which means we have to have a lot of people here people oh. who know how to use the yeah, yeah a lot of well, people well i was just just saying earlier it's normally me and a camera yeah and we've got like 20 people here yeah 20 people in the camera. Up, yeah. generators support vehicles yeah so there's a lot of people yeah for what feels like a kind of short stretch of road yeah, but, but uh you know you have to take these things seriously and you have to yeah. do them well so on a scale of one to ten business. how was our full english earlier Nine and, and a half. Nine and a half. It was pretty awesome. Yeah, nine right. and a half. Yeah. The black pudding for me. The black pudding. The black pudding made the it. Deal. Black pudding nailed it. <laughs> but some shoots, let's face it, you don't even get it that good. No, you don't. You no. Just, yeah, you might get. You don't like even a get black, black pudding. Don't even get black pudding. No. You might just have a local soggy sandwich and yeah. a cold tea. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So thumbs up for full English set bus. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> As is typical with these things, the whole set is fueled by coffee and styrofoam cups nectar of the gods right now and let me show you the two cars which we are filming with i'm doing 360 and f pace which i've never even driven before so this project aside i'm actually really interested to see how that thing is and i'm halfway through shooting with the jaguar xe which sounds really good actually so that's just a kind of quick insight as to what we're doing now we're sort of uh halfway through the morning we've done two takes with the xe it's, it's a little bit different to the way that i would normally do a take because even though they want me to be me on camera uh you still have to be quite on brand in terms of remembering what words to say in the right sequence and i'm just honored that jaguar have asked me to be part of this uh, great program cheers
Okay, location number two, mild wardrobe change. Okay, it's still a blue blazer, but slightly different than my iridescent blue corduroy one earlier. We've now come to this amazing location. What you see in front of me is what's known as the Winats Pass, which, so I've been reading, is a fossilized sea valley. Just check this out. Hell of a cavern, it's amazing. So in a minute, we're gonna be driving the F pace up through this windy road. We're gonna to have to, well, block both ends. And the problem with this road is, it's a very tourist driven area. No doubt we're gonna, gonna cause some backlogs, but we're gonna try and do it quick so we don't annoy any more locals. And I believe there's also gonna be some external footage shot here too, which is gonna be fantastic because the view is amazing. Also, people around here are looking at me really weirdly, like you are wearing the wrong thing, bro. This is one of our spotters that looks out for any cyclists or oncoming cars and things, which might sneak into frame. Unfortunately for him today, he has to go all the way up there <laughs> to get a view of any potential oncoming traffic in this road here. Thanks though, dude. You're the man. Check out the 360 rig in the F-Pace. We've had to take off the headrest, which usually sits here, because when the audience turns around, they're just gonna get a face full of headrests. So that's had to come off. And the whole thing is rigged up to what looks like overkill. I know it looks like a scaffolding site in here, but there's so much vibration that comes off these country roads that it's, it's best to get it rigged up properly so this whole unit here doesn't shake too much. And when you're uh, shooting 360, uh, eradicating shake is even more important than on a standard film because when you're filming with six cameras, every single one of them stitches up. And if those stitch lines are all shaking, nightmare to uh, fix. We are approaching the end of the day. There's one more little insight into what goes on here. This follows us around all day. So after we've done a take, we upload like all six cards uh, and then we preview just to make sure that I haven't cocked it up. <laughs> That's a take. A that's a take. Be brilliant, mate. Is that a take? Oh, that's yes, mate. Sorry, I mean, yeah. I mean that's, happy. that's flipping brilliant. <laughs> that flipping I fun. To myself. What a wonderful <laughs> what a wonderful world. See him. Let's get a bit more. Give it a bit more. <laughs> Absolutely miles away. He's only halfway as well. He's still got to get up there, yeah. to myself What a wonderful world